Welcome to the Mathematics of my channel. Today we are going to solve another interesting integral. Uh, the question is, integral from 0 to 1, natural log of gamma of x dx. Okay, how to start? Mm. So first, I am going to take this is equal to i. And we know this property of integration. So 0 to a, f of a minus x dx so this is equal to 0 to a f of x dx okay according to this formula we can write now 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of now here 1 so 1 minus x dx okay this is also equal to i and now i am going to uh, sum of this integral so 2 times i is equal to 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x dx plus now this integral so 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of 1 minus x dx okay now here limits are same so we can write 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x plus natural log of gamma of 1 minus x dx okay now we know this property uh, natural log of a plus natural log of b is equal to natural log of a times b okay according to this we can write 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x dx okay now we have 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x okay this is familiar with us because um, we can use Euler's reflection formula so we know gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x is equal to 5 over sine of 5x okay now we can write 0 to 1 natural log of now here we know this is equal to 5 over sine of 5 x dx okay now again we can use the property of natural log natural log of a over b is equal to natural log of a minus natural log of b so we can write 0 to 1 natural log of 5 dx and here minus so minus 0 to 1 natural log of sine of 5x dx okay then we know this integral so uh, natural log of 5 is a constant so natural log of 5 here dx so x uh, when 0 to 1 minus now here this integral we can use substituting method so if we take 5x is equal to t uh, then 5 dx is equal to dt so here uh, lower limit 0 so when x approaches to 0 t approaches to also 0 and when x approaches to 1 so t approaches to 5 okay so now we can write here lower limit also 0 and upper limit 5 natural log of now sine of 5x is equal to t uh, dx is equal to dt over 5 
okay now here we know uh, when plugin one so one so natural log of five minus now here five is a constant so one or five now zero to five natural log of sine of t dt we know definite integral independent of the variable so zero to e f of t dt is equal to zero to a e, f of x dx so now we can use this property so we can write natural log of sine of x dx then natural log of 5 1 over 5 and now here we can write upper limit I divided by 2 and then we need to multiply by 2 okay now natural log of sine of x dx now natural log of 5 here minus 2 over 5 times and now this is familiar with us uh, because we solved this integral so if you like you can watch the video uh, i will add the description and make the card okay now we know this integral is equal to minus 5 over 2 natural log of 2 so 5 get cancelled and 2 get cancelled now we have natural log of 5 minus times minus plus natural log of 2 okay now again a property of natural log we can write natural log of 2 times 5 okay now here this is equal to 2 times i now i is equal to 1 half natural log of 2 times 5 now again according to natural log of sorry according to property of natural log we can write natural log of 2 5 and 1 half here as a power so this is equal to natural log of square root of 2 times 5 okay interesting this is the answer. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.